right, post-op, VSG, two and a half years, something, Q&A, part two. Um, so Angela Vertigliano also asked if I was going to be doing more grocery haul videos and if I was going to be doing meal prep videos. Uh, I can definitely do some more grocery haul videos. Um, I was actually going to do like my favorite hidden gems type thing. Um, and I'm also going to be doing a little bit meal of meal prep later. So if I can figure out a good way to like set up my phone to record and all that stuff, um, I will try to video that. Terry Strawn asked, how soon after surgery did you start working out? I have never seen your body, so to say you need plastic shocks me, you carry it well. I don't know if I'll do the plastic part of this. I'm an older woman, so at this point in my life, I may be good with what I am up with. You look amazing, so just remember that no matter what you do. Thank you. Um, how soon after surgery did I start working out? It was a few months, which uh, I do not suggest. I suggest walking immediately after surgery, and as soon as your doctor clears you, which should be six weeks out, you should be able to do anything except for ab exercises, and you should be able to do ab exercises starting at three months out. Um, so as soon as your doctor clears you, I would say start, start trying to figure out something that you like. Um, I started with, since I had a foot injury that I was, that took me a very long time to recuperate from, um, about a year, I started with swimming and, um, aqua aerobics. Um, oh, and then to say that she's never seen my body, so go to my one year post-op, um, skin flick and you will definitely see why I need plastics. Um, but thank you for the compliment anyway. Um, Alyssa Anderson asks, can you please do an everyday makeup tutorial? Also, are you in a relationship? And if so, or even if not, how does it affect your eating habits slash weight loss goals, etc.? What does your significant other think about this part of your life? So I'm not in a relationship. I don't have a significant other. Um, I haven't been in an actual relationship in over a year. So I can say that when I was in a relationship, um... It did not affect my eating habits because I was dating someone who um, had lost a lot of weight on his own and he also ate high protein, low carb. So it was actually very easy because we were both eating the same way. Um, I will say that um, I know that when you first start dating someone, it can definitely throw you off. You're going out to eat a lot. You might be getting drinks a lot. Um, and especially if you're with someone who's never had a weight problem and doesn't watch what they eat, I can see how that would be difficult. Um, but I've also never been one post, never been someone post surgery to really have other people's food choices influence mine. Um, I am a very, I'm not easily influenced basically. I am uh, stubborn. And that may sound like it has nothing to do with this, but I also, like, I very easily think for myself. Um, so, yeah. Uh, can I please do an everyday makeup tutorial? Uh, I've mentioned before how, like, I have no editing skills at all, and um, so it would take, like, it would basically be no fast forwarding. You would see everything I was doing. So if that is somewhat thing that people are interested in, I can do it. Uh, I can also try to figure out editing um, to make it not as boring. But yes, I can I can try to do that. Uh, TV Beavers and Elsie Cross both asked, uh, do you ever get scared you will gain back the weight you lost before surgery? That is literally my biggest fear. That was like my only fear before surgery or Basically, my only fear before surgery was that um, I wasn't going to lose enough weight and also that I would gain it back. Um, and when I did gain 20 pounds back last year, um, that that was my biggest fear was that I was going to gain it all back. So, yeah, I do. But I also know that if I did gain it back, that that would be because I was making poor choices. It would It would be my fault to put it bluntly. Um, and I know that my life is so much better now than it was back then and that I value being, I value my life now and I value 
um, being where I am today so much that I, I know people say never say never, but I will never be that person again and I will never be 260 pounds again. Um, I'm sure that there will be other times in my life where I struggle with a little more regain and, and losing it again and all that stuff, but um, I also know, you know, after having some regain and losing it all and more, I also know that I can do it. Um, you know, that I can get a handle on things when I've lost, you know, when I've lost my grip on healthy eating and healthy habits. And so, um, sounds a little cliche, but like going through that hard time, you know, like made me stronger, made me realize that I could do this. Uh, Jeez Louise asked, I am seven months out. What is your best advice to anyone who is in his or her first year? Um, follow all the rules. It's as easy and as difficult as that, basically. Don't introduce shit foods before, um, before you, I mean, you never need to, but before you should, don't eat what you shouldn't. Don't eat more than you should. Like, I mean, just honestly, just follow the rules. And, uh, if you don't follow, if, like, I know people who ate pizza at, like, one month out. Uh, and, and fast food and all this shit and uh, I can tell you they're not in a good place today so I mean also if you slip up once just you know brush yourself off and move forward and make good decisions from then on but um, yeah that's my advice also to get into a workout routine get in your vitamins get in your water but um, basically just follow the rules Princess and the Sleeve asked, how do you meal prep? Do you go day by day or weekly? Also, what are some of your favorite easy meals? So I already covered my favorite easy meals. Um, also, I've heard about people hating what they look like after they lose a lot of weight. What is your advice for keeping a positive mental outlook and perspective after surgery? So um, I meal prep. I usually do one big meal and eat it like every day until it's gone. Um, I'm someone who doesn't mind eating the same thing day after day. Um, sometimes I will prepare two different things in like larger batches so that I can alternate. Uh, I'll freeze half of it, but I, I, I don't do day by day. That's, I mean, for dinner I might, um, but I like to have something prepackaged in the fridge that I can just get. So, um, it, definitely um ensures not ensures but um I have I'm less likely to pick something shitty when I have something already prepared uh oh and then people hating what they look like after they lose a lot of weight um I would just say just to remember why you had weight loss surgery in the first place um it's definitely something new to deal with, uh, you know, loose skin and stuff like that. But just remember how uncomfortable you were when you were heavier, how, I mean, just for me personally, I was so uncomfortable. I didn't like to be out in public. I didn't want other people to see me. I mean, just to remember that and, um, just know that you're in such a better place now and I would never want to go back. Uh, Casey Rowe asked, did you see a change in certain relationships after your weight loss? What do you credit for your weight loss success? As always, I love you and your videos. Thank you. Um, I did see a change in certain relationships after my weight loss. Um, and I think that was a lot of my fault, honestly. Um, I mean, certain people, yes, they had a different reaction to me being, um, not being the fat friend anymore or something like that. Um, some jealousy issues that reared their heads, but I mean, yeah, it sucks, but I, that's, that's about them, not me. Um, however, I will say that I'm, I'm awful at balance and, um, part of, what I credit for my weight loss success is, I guess, what changed um, some relationships. So, 
I already mentioned that I'm really bad at focusing on more than one thing at a time and in my first year post-op it was all about weight loss surgery. Um, and I really just completely dove into that and into the community and stuff like that and I ended up losing touch with um, a lot of my real life friends and I really regret that. Um, nothing that like is irreparable or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so that changed and like I said that that's pretty much on me. Um, but what do I credit for my weight loss success? I basically the same thing that I um that I suggested to Jeez Louise. Um I followed the rules. I did my best to get my water in, I got my protein in, I didn't eat rice, pasta, bread, that kind of stuff. Um I didn't eat when I wasn't hungry. Um that's what that's what I credit really. Uh, Eve's losing it and Cora's VSG both asked, what do you do to get over stall and did you ever stall? If so, for how long? Um, I don't consider that I ever had a stall because people will like stay the same weight for four days and say they're in a stall or even for one week and they'll say they're in a stall and that bugs the ever loving fuck out of me. Um, that's not a stall. A stall is when you are doing everything right and your weight doesn't move. I think it's technically for three months. I would say like a month. That's, that's a real stall. And I understand it's frustrating to be not losing weight, um, week to week and stuff like that. But so I don't ever consider having a stall because of what I define as a stall. I will say that I had a couple of what I called slowdowns um, where there were a few weeks where I would only lose like half a pound or a pound and then, you know, after a couple weeks my body would catch up. So my, um, my advice basically is if you're in a stall, excuse me, or what you consider a stall, one, if you're not doing everything right, then you're not in a stall. You're doing things to retain, you're doing things to retain that weight. So, if you're not doing everything right, then, you know, pick yourself up and start doing things right and shit will get moving. Um, if you are doing everything right, just keep doing those things. Your body will eventually catch up. Um, and then, you know, if you, if you really are at a loss or you really need that scale to move now for some reason, um, then yeah, you can change things up. You can do a different workout. You can, um, if you've been doing low carb, you can do a high carb day or a couple high carb days or, um, if you've been doing high fat, you could do some low fat. Um, your body does get used to things, so you can trick it. Um, but if you're happy with the way you're eating, if you're happy with the way you're exercising and the scale isn't moving, then just ignore it for a little while and keep doing what you're supposed to do and eventually the scale will catch up. Uh, Fly Girl Fitness VSG asked, one, how do you use contouring, highlighting, and blush all together? I'm so confused. I love you, Lindsay. Okay, contour is here, which mine's a little harsh today, sorry. Uh, contour is here. Highlighting is different than highlighter. Highlighting is just like putting concealer, like lighter concealer on the high points of your face. So contour here, highlighting here, like maybe a little bit of your forehead, down your nose, chin a little bit maybe, like under your contour if you want to. That is highlighting. And then blush, I, the way I do blush at least, I do a little bit on the apples on my cheeks because I don't like how beige I look when some people don't use blush at all I don't like how beige I look without it so I do some on the apples of my cheeks and then I sweep it back like into the contour then highlighter goes on the high points of your face so like cheekbones um, a lot of people do brow bone I don't tend to do brow bone highlight um, a little bit on the bridge of your nose some people do the tip of your nose too I don't tend to do that uh, Cupid's bow when we get together I'll teach you 
Um, two, what are the three to five main qualities you're looking for in a significant other? Um, ambition, confidence. Manners is like my number one thing though. When someone doesn't have manners, when someone doesn't say please, thank you, when you don't hold the door open for people, um, when you're like rude to a waiter, that is my number one turn off is rudeness. So manners is like number one for me. Intelligence. Um, and I gotta like what I'm looking at. Sorry if that's shallow, but good looks. Uh, number three, how's dating going? It's not, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, number four, how excited are you for Lindsay, that's me in case you weren't sure, to come visit you even if we're just sitting around and snuggling the whole time. I'm ex super excited, so Lindsay is going to be coming to visit me, um, about three weeks after I have plastic surgery to help nurse me back to health, so, uh, I'm very excited for that. Number five, what does quote on track mean for you? When you're up a few pounds, what do you change in your personal diet to get them off? Um, on track for me is high protein, eating meals, not snacking, getting my water in, and going to the gym. Um, so if I am up, like if I'm up a few pounds just because it's my period and I have the hungry, hungry horrors. Uh, which I hate. Um, but honestly, like the week before my period, I gained like three to five pounds in water weight and I can feel it. Like I can feel it mostly in my stomach. Um, so if it's just that, like, I don't, I don't sweat it. Um, but if it's from something that I'm doing wrong, it's usually because I'm eating too much and I'm not drinking enough water. Um, so I changed that. Uh, P.S. I love you. I love you too. Uh, Donna Humphreys said, I'm a fellow mass hole and I'm almost three years out. I'm finding myself sliding into some bad habits, binging on certain foods, mainly sugar-free candy, but also crackers. How do you stop the slide or binge once it's in motion? Um, so people might find this wasteful, but this is what works for me. I literally get everything that I would snack or binge or slider foods and throw it in the trash. Um, if it's stuff you haven't opened yet and you want to donate it, that's one thing also. You can bring it to like food pantry. Um, but I just, I just can't keep it in my house and if it, if for some reason I did go out and buy it and it is in my house, I just get rid of it. Um, that's really the only thing that works for me. Sleeve Les and Alyssa Anderson both asked what equipment to use when filming. I use a little tripod that I got off Amazon. I actually have a couple of them. The one I'm using is different, but I have this one, which kind of looks like anal beads. Um, but it's, it just like stands up like this and you can like, this one's not great. My other one that I have that looks exactly the same is better, but it like bends, um, so you can like make it different heights. Um, it can go on like an unstable surface if you want to, if you're like filming outside for some reason. Um, so this is just like a little $7 um, tripod from Amazon and I just used my phone. That's it. Uh, no Limits asked, in your two and a half year experience with WLS, what do you know that definitely works and everyone should be doing and what definitely does not work? Uh, what definitely works is getting in your water, uh, doing a regular exercise routine, and um, let's see, not drinking thing, not drinking your calories like uh, juice, um, soda, stuff like that, um, and eating high protein meals. Um, as to what definitely does not work, um, there's, uh, what definitely does not work is eating shit, I guess. Um, eating a ton of sugar, eating all slider foods, snacking, not eating meals, um, eating junk food, like, just like all the stuff that made you fat to begin with. Um, but... There's, 
I don't know, there are several different lifestyles that you can live post-surgery that can work for you if that's, if that's what works for you. I don't know, like the way I eat doesn't, wouldn't necessarily work for everybody. Like I eat very differently than my friend Lindsay, so Lindsay Fly Girl Fitness VSG, I think is her name now on YouTube. I eat very differently than Lindsay does, but we all have to do what works for us. I eat very differently than Takesha, um, Positive Girl Gets Fit, yes, VSG, maybe, um, does, she, I think she's vegan, um, that works for her. So, you know, like, you can eat differently. There's not one size fits all for how you eat after surgery. There are def definitely, like, certain rules that you should follow, but, um, it's not necessarily set in stone. You just have to find what works for you that's still healthy. Uh, Ashley Michael asked, have you gained any weight back? And if so, how do you deal with it? So, yes, I gained about 20 pounds back last summer. So maybe about like nine months ago. And uh, I was really upset about it. And I was going through a difficult time. And I was kind of depressed. And, um... It took me a long time to, you know, pick myself up and decide that I really needed to lose weight and, uh, you know, lose the regain and that I was happier before I had gained that weight back. And, you know, um, weight loss doesn't equal happiness, but honestly, in that case, it did. So um, I think the first thing that I did was like a diet bet and that's what helped me lose the first 10 pounds and then the last I think 18 that I've lost or around there um was no 18 23 22 I don't know whatever the, no 12 crap I can't mathing is hard um so those last chunk of pounds basically that I lost was just determination, I guess. Alright, so I'm gonna end this video here and the lighting is starting to get in my face and make me warm. Um, but yeah, next video coming up.